All right, guys, so trying to make some room, selling some stuff. This is gonna be the first lot of knives. Uh, actually, I don't even know how many are here. I'm gonna put on the screen right now how many are in the pile, because I'm gonna count them after this. And you get that many knives, it's random. Some of these knives are barely uh, used. Some of these knives are used. They're all very old. I've got some battle songs in here, some cheap ones. I have a whole bag of battle song blades and latches and parts. Originally, I was going to save these and make my own battle songs, but uh, some fixed blades, some you know folders, tons and tons of folders. Got some wooden knives in here, kits I put together, some plastic knives, clicker knife kit, there's a glow in the dark one. All kinds of stuff in here. So a variety of stuff. And I'm gonna ask 100 bucks for this shipped. All right guys, so I counted them. There are exactly 100 blades in here. Um, there's probably 20 or 30 that are brand new uh, that I've never used, like cheaper tactical knives, Smith & Wesson, stuff like that. You know, a lot of these knives range anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars a piece brand new, but you're basically getting it for a dollar a piece. I have things like cigar cutters in here. Um, there's multi-tools in here. Um, knives I reviewed, you know, there's slip joints as well as, you know, locking knives, a couple fixed blades, uh, steak knives, plastic knives, wood knives, Boy Scout knife, um, battle songs, battle song parts, everything you think of. All right, so basically a dollar knife. All right, this is gonna be lot number two. These are just another, you know, lot of a bunch of knives. There's 26 knives here. These are all name brand stuff. Um, a lot of straight folders up front, things that I've reviewed before. I have this custom little fixed blade, which was awesome that I did a, uh, a video on. I actually have a, um, a much larger fixed blade by the same company I'm going to review soon. But anyway, that uh, Damascus miniature. Got the uh, CRKT Minimalist in here. Awesome, awesome knife. This one is um, used, but not that used at all. Um, I have a stiletto here, fully functional. Just uh, need some scales. It was a project that I never got around to. So full auto stiletto here. Got to throw some scales on it. Um, some fixed blades, got the straight sharp finger. This is an old school sharp finger. Very cool knife. Uh, another straight fixed blade in the back here. And Smith & Wesson knife that I reviewed. Um, let's see what else. Um, CRKT. Still folder, went on that uh, you know, carabiner type system, the Flux. Very interesting, got a SAC Classic in here. Um, a little buck folder that I did a review on before. Let's see, this neck knife that I did a review on. Very cool. And two Crambits in the back, Mantis Crambit and the Smith & Wesson Crambit. So a little variety for sure. Most of the stuff here is, um, most of it is used, although there are some knives that are brand new. Um, but uh, anything that is used isn't, you know, overly used, except for maybe a couple of the trades that I did reviews on. Anything you saw me do a review on was probably used a good bit, but everything else is uh, pretty much brand new. So that's it. I'm going to do this lot for 160 shipped. Um, it's worth way more than $160, but, you know, out with the old, in with the new. So I'm going to have a bunch of uh, knives to play around with. All right, guys, this is lot three. This is gonna be a bunch of uh, lighters for my lighter collections. 23 lighters here. These two are the only genuine Zippos. The rest of these are pretty much brand new. Star brand, Team Pistol. These are all Zippo copies, but they're all brand new designs. Some are really nice with the uh, abalone and, uh, or abalone and pearl. Very cool. This one happens to be a Team Pistol from 2006 and so forth. It's a nice black crackle copy here. This one, also Team Pistol. Again, brand new on most of these lighters. Got some cool ones, Coca-Cola style lighter. This would be a NOM thing if you guys never seen this. It's one image like that, then you turn it around, you got your dirty image there. <laughs> Pretty well known Vietnam style stuff. I have the uh, Shorty here. Not a Zippo brand, but made a Shorty out of this one. Some Chinese company. Um, let's see what else. Of course, on top here, we have the, the massive lighters. These are fully functional lighters. All right. They do take fuel. They do spark. They do light. All right. Let's see. Uh, there we go. 
a huge one. Then you have the medium sized one, also fully functional. And of course, a small rock one. These are the ones that I used in that Zippo trick video, those three of them. And then there's also a dirty one up there where the clothes disappear, which I guess I can't show. It's stupid YouTube rules. Can't see uh, you know fake boobies on a layer or a crotch or anything like that, <laughs> but there you go. So yeah, 23 lighters. I'm gonna ask uh, 70 bucks shipped. All right, guys, this is gonna be uh, lot number four. This is a bunch of uh, sheaths, bunch of knife sheaths, a Microtech sheath here, and a bunch of uh, Benchmade drawstring pouches. Came with all the Benchmade knives I, I had. An old school Benchmade Balasong sheath. Um, just another pouch here. Actually, I had a watch in this pouch, but you can keep a cool knife in there. Random stuff. There's some Chinese pouches here. Here's a Schrade one. Um, just no name ones in here. A couple flashlight holsters. Got a Browse blades. Um, little cleaning cloth. I'm gonna take it out of the bag, but brand new cleaning cloth I never used. As well as another cleaning cloth in here. Um, very cool. Balasong sheath. All right. This is pretty versatile. Pretty much any Balasong with the double uh, tank sticking out will snap into this. It's a horizontal carry. Um, Kydex, all right, so pretty much any model will fit in there. Uh, that's pretty much it. There's, I don't know, 20 or, or so sheets here. I'll sell all these for, uh, I don't know, 40 bucks. 40 bucks shipped. Oh, almost forgot. I also have this brand new uh, K-Bar. Um, it's like a rig for your ankle. This came with the uh, TDI knife that I had, so you can pretty much mount any sheath on here. Comes with the hardware and everything, so you get a little ankle rig for, uh, for a fixed blade. Pretty cool. And I'll go in there too. So that's it. That is uh, lot number four. All right, guys, this is uh, lot number five. This is for all the flashlight people. I got some mag lights here. I have three um, 2D mag lights, all blue on. I have a black and copper slash gold that I swapped the parts on. These were for mag mods. All right. I have a two uh, C cell mag light in the back, a couple of mini mags, two of those. I have a 3A um, LED mini mag. Two Anova flashlights from back in the day. And I have a Coast LED lenser in here. Um, I have a little tiny single AAA mini mag. Special edition mini mag light from 97. Came out with a couple of these. It's very cool. And a whole bag of flashlight stuff. Custom flashlight parts. I have LEDs in here. Let me open it up. Again, this is back when I used to modify mag lights to make them extremely bright. I have some custom milled out um, reflectors, smooth reflectors, stipple reflectors. Let's see, here's another one, smooth reflector. It's all aluminum. I have a bunch of parts. I have resistors there, a bunch of LEDs, springs, spare bulbs, all kinds of stuff. Uh, spare pack of bulbs for your mag mods as well. Tooth extension here and a couple other parts in here. So this is again for people who are playing around with flashlights or just want a couple old flashlights. I'll let this whole lot go for uh, let's say 50 bucks. 50 bucks shipped. All right, this is going to be a lot number six. This is kind of a weird combination of stuff, but I'm not going to sell it separate. So basically, it's a bunch of sharpening things, cheap sharpening stone, a bunch of ceramic rods, a couple of these um, you know to go sharpeners. Uh, a couple of smiths, a little stropping uh, pad there. That's pretty much it. Just a bunch of cheaper sharpening stuff. Also some incense and some incense burners. You know, stone, wood, and clay. And uh, a spy camera. This is a little, you know, uh, pinhole camera. You can run on a uh, nine volt. Got an attachment here, or you can you know put your own power source to it. And then you have your receiver here. All right, so all the cables and everything necessary to uh, set up your security camera, wherever you'd want to put that. Of course, keep it legal, keep it nice. Uh, that's pretty much it. This, All this stuff together, I'll sell for, uh, for 30 bucks shipped.